Coming off his first individual win at the Australian Trophy, Mitch Argent came into the Australian Championships with solid form. His strength in the chopping events, namely the standing block, had been his saviour many a time. And it's a discipline he'd widely become known for as the best standing block cutter in the world. I just like the standing block. It's always been my favourite event ever since I could chop, I suppose. Yeah, and I always wanted to set myself to be like the best in the world at the standing block. Despite coming last for the day at the Australian Championship, again, Mitch Argent's standing block saved his day. And he turns first. Meyer turns, but he's got a bit of work to do to catch Argent. And the Australian record could fall. Wow, 14.1 for Argent. That is a new Australian record. His record beating cut, earning him a coveted spot in the Chopper Roos. When I cut a stand block, I always set myself a name, whether it's, you know, 10 hits in the front or six hits in the front. Really at a distinct advantage here as Australia will get one more drive. Oh my goodness. But I think what makes a great axman is being able to adapt after them first two hits. You know, you might be playing in 10 and then you put them first two up and it's soft and then to be able to adapt to go to six. I think that's what makes a a great axeman to a good axeman. They don't call them chop roos for nothing. They are chopping the roos through the roof. Yeah, it's a bit of an honour to be considered one of the, the best standard block cutters going around. And I don't think about that too much myself. I just enjoy cutting standard blocks. But back on home turf here in Australia, his standing block also saved his day in Sydney. The 2018 Australian Trophy was Argent's opportunity to show that he was more than a one-trick pony. It was also the opportunity for Argent to go back to back Australian trophy titles. I definitely put a fair bit more work into it and was a bit more prepared. So, uh, yeah, I think a, a few people knew that I was going to be there to, to win it. Argent progressed to the semi final and met 2015 international trophy winner Braden Meyer. Only one will make it through to the final today. Argent's cookie hits the deck and he's off to the underhand. It's very, very close, only a half a hit in it. Everyone knows how good a competitive Braden is. He's always a hard fellow to get a win over, especially when he gets off that underhand arm. He takes some beating. Yeah, I cut pretty good the whole way through and, and cut a good standing block at the end, which you got to do when you're cutting against Braden Meyer. Beating Meyer, Argent came up against the best in the game. Yeah, lining up against Brad Delos, you know, he, um, He'd won three world trophies before that day. He's got the world record too in it. He's no mug at it, he goes all right. I wasn't gonna be a pushover, I was there to win and didn't leave anything in the tank. Can Argent put on the stand block performance he's known for? It's Delosa, it's Argent. Who's gonna take it? It's Argent. Wow, what a victory. <laughs> She's a pretty hard race, so um, I was pretty glad at the end of the day when I was all, all finished. And um, yeah, I didn't hold my arms in there for very long, though. I was pretty shag. Argent has backed up his title and is off to France.